this weather? Uh, well, I'm just going to watch it move through. Not man. a whole lot. Not a whole lot I can do. Uh, we will watch a. Yeah, we'll watch the rain move through for the rest of the morning and into the early afternoon hours. And uh, then we'll see some nicer conditions for tomorrow. So looking at Storm Team Radar, watching a line of showers, some heavy rain, no thunderstorms with this. We don't have any lightning. There's no severe weather. This is just a batch and a line of some heavier rain that's now moving in. By the time we get to say later this afternoon, I think it'll just be some light to moderate rain. Uh, that moves in. So for folks uh, along that line, you're going to see those times that uh, that you'll see the rain. Millport in about four minutes, Belk in nine minutes, Kennedy in about 11 minutes or so, Fayette, Double Springs in the next 15 to 20 minutes. And there's plenty more where that came from. That's a long line of showers and some thunderstorms, especially down to the south, a little bit more instability down south, closer to the Gulf Coast. And this line extends all the way from the Gulf Coast up into the Midwest, where it's a lot more ice and snow. So we don't have to deal with any of that. We'll just deal with the rain because you see temperatures very uniform throughout central Alabama. Numbers in the 50s to our north and east, but basically everybody in the mid and upper 60s. 68 right now in Tuscaloosa is one of the mild spots uh, around the region. But temperatures will be falling throughout the day. So basically the temperatures you had this morning will be the warmest that you feel. Futurecast is going to show that line that moves through right around the I-2059 corridor by 8 o'clock or so. So it's going to be kind of a nasty morning commute for some folks uh, around the Birmingham metro area, folks in Tuscaloosa, Shelby County. It's going to be nasty around 7.30 to 8 to 8.30. So heads up with that. And then after the line moves out into East Alabama by, say, 11 to noon, we just have light and moderate rainfall after that. All of the rain should be done by, say, 6 to 7 o'clock. And you see those northerly winds move back in. That will lead to some cooler air and drier air for us for Wednesday. A nice start to the day on Wednesday. A pretty nice afternoon, too, with plenty of sunshine. You see the temperatures falling through the 50s by noontime. I think we'll be in the 40s by, say, 6 to 7 o'clock once all the rain moves out. And in some spots, start off in the 30s early tomorrow morning near freezing. A nice recovery, though, for tomorrow afternoon with highs in the low 50s. But for today, the rain continues heavy at times, especially once that line moves in. Temperatures will fall throughout the day with gusty winds too, 15, 20 miles per hour, gusting higher at times. And then it'll clear out with those winds staying up out of the northwest. Temperatures near that freezing mark for some. Sunny, cooler for Wednesday. Thursday, we see rain late in the day and then heavy rain and possibly some thunderstorms Friday. We've got our eyes peeled just in case. Might have to see some thunderstorms. We'll keep you updated on that forecast, but a pretty decent. Weekend ahead, both Saturday and Sunday, guys.